Hello. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. At ako ang iyong MC, si Mr. Jet Ramos, na training manager at communi- training and communications manager ng Jeffy at Jafer. And nice ko pong kumustahin kayo. Kumusta na kayong lahat? I hope you had a good sleep and I hope you were able to relax and learn from yesterday's session. So, gusto ko lang pong i-announce ang ating ano ang ating mga ano ang ating mga important things sa mga nagtatanong kung registered kayo sa Google Forms basta once naka-register po kayo within the timeline set kayo ay registered na po pero bigyan niyo po kami ng dalawang linggo upang ma-validate namin ang inyong registration at malaman namin kung nakasunod po kayo sa aming mechanics so ito lang ang mga mechanics lang natin Please do not forget to take screenshots uh, before, during, and after for every session para may proof. Second, kailangan po na i-like ang JFE, web, uh, JFE Facebook page, YouTube channel ng JFE, and, and JFER, which is JFE Teacher Training Services. Yun lang po. So please give us two weeks upang magkaroon kami ng ano magkaroon ng validation talaga at ng mapadala namin sa inyo ang inyong mga certificate. So handa na ba tayong lahat? Handa na ba tayong lahat? We're good? Yes. Okay. So maraming salamat muli sa ating mga participants at saka sa staff si JC, si Hazel at saka si Abby. Pero bago tayo magsimula, let's begin the day with a prayer. Lord, please give us the strength to learn and to okay, and to be patient. Kahit na kami ay maraming webinar ay maging enthusiastic pa rin kami. Whatever we do as teachers is all for your glory, Lord. Amen. So, ngayong umagang ito, tayo may dalawang learning session at sa hapon din, Mamaya ang alas dos, may learning session din tayo. So the first session for today is Developing Activity Sheets Online. At ang ating resource person ay isang guro, mahigit sampung taon na, and he teaches edukasyon sa pagpapagkatao, subject coordinator din siya nito, a teacher one siya, sa Bangkal Integrated School sa May Kawai at Budakan. And he also teaches part-time at Budakan State University. Siya ay isang manunulat din at siya ay kilala at iginagalang ng lahat sa may kawayan division ng DepEd. At marami siya natulungan mga estudyante. At higit sa lahat, tinutulungan din niya ang kapwa teacher niya dahil siya ay pangulo ng Faculty and Employee Association of Bangkal Integrated School. Ladies and gentlemen, Let us please all welcome our resource person, Mr. Eduardo L. Alcariza. Good morning, Sir Jet. Maraming salamat po. Good morning, Good morning. to all. Yes, sir. Good morning Ay, po, na Sir Jet. Guwapo ang mga Eduardo, sir. I'm good, sir. I'm good. How about you, sir? Oh, I'm good. Eto, excited na mag-notes. Okay, Dami sir. Dami ko gustong matutunan, eh. Ah, sige po. Lala ko nung una kitang makita. 
sabi ko mukhang artista to kamukha ni Daniel Fernando to ah so, <laughs> yung governor niya kamukha ni Daniel Fernando yes sir, our governor here in Bulacan salamat po yes so ano pala are you ready right now for your presentation sir yes sir i am ready sige sir and we're also ready to take notes thank you sir yeah. okay sige, so sir. we're about to begin Before is all yours sir. okay po thank you okay good morning po sa lahat a covid free morning to each and every one of us so i am your first speaker for this morning so we have two sessions today 9 to 11 and then 2 to 4. Okay, let's sit and relax. Are you ready to learn for today? Mga kapwa ko guro, salamat po sa pagsubaybay sa aming today webinar. Okay, to start our morning, gusto ko po mo nang tanungin ng lahat kung okay po kayo. Ayan, I hope okay po tayong lahat sa kabila ng pandemya na nangyari ngayon sa buong mundo. We need to be okay and we need to learn. Hindi po dapat mahinto ang ating pag-aaral at paraan ng pagkatun. Okay, so this morning, the topic that I'm going to discuss to all of you is all about development of learners, worksheets for distance learning. Okay, so let's start. Next po. Okay, our main objectives for this session is all about to produce dynamic and appropriate worksheets based on guided inquiry. The second one, to encourage learners' critical thinking skills. And then the last one, to understand the importance of copyright laws that protect the rights of the author, artist, or other originator of a creative work to control when and how his work can be copied and disseminated and prevent other entities from appropriating the work without permission. Okay, po? Next. Okay, what are the questions for discussion? So, number one, what tools do you have at your disposal to assist you in meeting all the development details when designing a learning activity. Ang dami po ng tasks, ano po? So, dapat alam po natin yun. Kung ano yung dapat natin gawin at ano yung dapat natin unahin and how to develop our uh, worksheet. The second one, what resources as far as location, equipment, and materials do you have available to design a learning activity? So, what are the references that you're going to use? Mahalaga po yun. And then the third one, and then the last, how can you develop learning activities utilizing multiple formats to meet different differing learning styles? So we need to use an innovations in creating this worksheet. So mamaya, malalaman po natin kung paan. Okay, next. So let's start now in designing effective worksheets. Here it goes. The reality of education in the field at this time is many teachers in schools use conventional worksheet. Ayan. Usually po, pag ang mga bata nagbabasa ng libro or mga textbooks, kadalasan, uh, yung mga nakikita nila po mga worksheets or activity sheet inside of that module is conventional or traditional. So, we need to innovate that. We need to enhance para po mas makatch natin yung kanilang attentions at mas motivate po silang sagutan itong mga, mga activity sheets na This has resulted to a monotonous learning and students feel tired following in the learning process. Therefore, to overcome the disadvantage of conventional worksheets, worksheet-based guided inquiry is one way to increase mastery of the material and critical thinking. It can improve learners' critical thinking skills because it is equipped with the questions that will attract more daring students to put forward ideas or look for a solution to a given problem. So, ang kailangan po natin gawin is worksheet-based guided inquiry na kailangan makita natin at ng mga bata dun sa ating worksheet na uumpisahan at gagawin. Next po. So, what is a school worksheet? So, we have different types of worksheet eh. So what is a school worksheet now? So according to this, the worksheet is answered during the class or can be answered at home. Similar to an assignment sheet, it is commonly a piece of paper with questions or activities. Students can either place their answers or perform the specific activity. And alam natin to that worksheets are used for all subjects, but 
ano ba yung typical na laman dapat na isang worksheet? So, according to what I read, ang worksheet dapat nakalagay siya sa isang a piece of paper na isa lang dapat, hindi siya dapat uh, congested or jump up. Kailangan in a, in a worksheet, isa lang lagi ang nakadesign para ibigay sa bata, para hindi siya masyadong maboard or hindi siya masyadong maraming iniisip regarding that worksheet and how to answer that. Next one. The difference between worksheet and activity sheet. Ito, kadalasan po dito tayo nalilito or hindi natin alam to. Ako personally, uh, nung nalaman ko to, lagi po, mali, mali pala yung pagtawag ko dun sa ating activity sheet na ginagamit. Ano? So, let us identify this. A worksheet and the activity sheet are almost the same. The only difference is that an activity sheet is commonly done with a group. So, pag sinabi natin activity sheet, by group pala siya ginagawa. Meaning that the activities and or tasks are done and accomplished by a group. While the worksheet can be done by an individual alone. So yung ginagawa po natin ngayon is worksheet. Bakit po siya tinawag na worksheet or bakit siya kailangan tawag ng worksheet? Dahil po ang bata po ay nasa bahay lang. So we need to maintain the social distancing. So kailangan po natin i-design ang ating worksheet na individually. Hindi po pwedeng by group. Okay, next po. What are the importance of a worksheet? Number one, of course, it lists all the necessary and essential activities that can help the students learn. So, ang ganda ng lesson mo, so all you need to do is convey the message through worksheet para malaman natin through assessment. Ang, ang worksheet po kasi is also a form of assessment. So, kailangan natin siyang i-design based dun sa ating MLCs na tinatawag. The next one, the activities or tasks included on the worksheet are based on the skills of the students. So, saan ba magaling yung bata? Ano ba ang porte ng bata? So, we need to design based on the abilities of our students. The third one, it tracks the performance of the student as well as their intelligence and writing skills. Yan, nakahasa din yung kanilang pagsulat. And at the same time, nalalaman natin kung Saan bang field magaling yung bata kung saan field pa siya dapat mag-improve? The next one, it also records the score of the students that can be used to determine their knowledge and learning. So dito makikita natin kung improving ba yung bata dun sa ating discussion or dun sa ating lesson at ano ba yung kailangan pang i-improve ulit ng estudyante na. And then the last one, for young students, workshops are important to make learning easy and fun. It can also help them to have a better, a better understanding of the subject and topics. Based on what I see in the different worksheet, yung mga napansin ko doon sa uh, kinder, ang, ang kukulay ng kanilang worksheet or ng kanilang activity sheet kasi uh, pag bata, mas appealing kapag ka yung kanilang worksheet is uh, malalaki and at the same time yung mga letters is malalaki and at the same time different colors mas touchy yun sa mga part okay next po pointers to help you produce good works so ito na po yung pinaka highlight ng ating discussion next one number one Planning. It is important to have a clear view of the reasons why you are designing the worksheet. Bakit ka nga ba gagawa ng worksheet? So you need to, to set a plan. For example, you are discussing a certain topic and you need to convey a message. So all you need to do is plan for your worksheet para mas madali yung uh, discussion and at the same time para mag-age natin if the students learn something to your topic. It is useful to list what you think the pupils will have achieved when they have completed the worksheet. It also helps learners to have the purpose clearly explained to them before they start. It's very important that you need to explain to the students or to your learners about your activity to be able to, to hit the target. Napakahalaga po nito. Next po. The design of the worksheet. It will be greatly influenced by age, ability, and motivation of the learners. For example, a young child may not be able to read or write more than a few words. Take advice from teachers who will have a better idea of their learners' abilities. Ayan. We need to ask the idea of our colleagues 
to be able to develop a comprehensive but yet enjoyable worksheet. Kasi napakahalaga na hingin din natin yung ideas ng ating mga kasama to be able to come up sa isang worksheet na hindi lang sila basta matututo and at the same time mag enjoy din po yung mga bata. Choose the type of activity suited for the learners. So may mga activities po na pwede in different grade level. For example, syempre, iba yung activities for kinder from grade 1 to 3 and also for junior high school and senior high school. Next po. What sources of information are available? If a worksheet is going to involve the learners, they will need to record information which they can find on site. The emphasis should be on what the site has, which is special and cannot be found elsewhere. If you're given a, a worksheet, for example, they need an access in the internet. So given a specific site kung saan sila pupunta ba? Kasi po mamaya, naglagay nga tayo doon ng site, eh hindi na-overlook po natin siya, hindi naman pala po yun yung kailangan nilang putan. So, might as well, maging malino po yung pagbibigay natin ng references or site. So, sources of information include the website or the references. Next. The layout and visual quality of page. Ayan. Ito yung pinaka, isa sa pinakamahalagang dapat natin i-consider. A good starting point is to look at examples of worksheets produced by other and think about the design elements which make them work or fail. So, hindi ka naman nangungupia. Just take a look about the work of the others and then collaborate with them. And then, you're going to come up with an idea na kung saan sarilo mo siya at original. At least may pattern tayong nakikita. The important factors are the following. Number one is general layout. Kung hindi po tayo magaling sa pagli-layout, pwede po tayong humingi ng tulong sa ating mga kasamahan. Marami po tayong po teachers or colleagues dyan na magaling pagdating sa pagli-layout. Hingin po natin ang kanilang tulong. Mas gumagaan po ang ating trabaho kapag po sineshare natin to sa iba or humihingi po tayo ng tulong dahil po kailangan po natin talaga ang tulong ng bago. Break the text into bite-sized chunks, which are easier to read while walking about. Huwag pong masyadong madaming wordings. Ano po, kailangan po yung mga words na gagamitin natin is malinaw and at the same time, hindi na po nila kailangan gumamit ng dictionary or yung Webster. Palaan po ma malaman nila yung, yung meaning ng mga words na ginagamit natin. And we need to cut this in a bite-sized chunks para po hindi po siya jump up. Illustrations used to separate text blocks, mahalaga po yan. And then the last one, indenting and framing. It helps to draw people's attention so they are more likely to read the information, clearly read the information. So napakahalaga po sa mga learners while doing their worksheet. Next one. Okay, the choice of framing. A clear type is essential but style and size can be varied to create interest and guide the reader through the text. Mamaya po I'm going to explain on the later part of my slides kung ano po yung mga size ng font ang kailangan gamitin. No? So the next one is the bold type. It's useful to highlight keywords use a house style for all your works. So yung bold type po kapag um, po, kailangan nating highlight your word na kailangan pong mas maintindihan ng bata. Pag po sinabi natin house style, uh, yung pong worksheet is hindi lang sila ma matututom, mag enjoy sila, but mas madali po siyang intindihan. Tandaan po natin, uh, sa new normal, ang mga bata po ay mag-aaral sa bahay, sa po sa mga mag-aaral. Sa ano po? Distance learning. Ano? And May mga senaryo po tayo nakikita na yung bata mag-aaral on their own, sarili lang po nila. So, soft learn po ang mangyayari. So, wala po silang ibang access. So, might as well, mahihirapan po sila kapag yung, yung ginagamit po natin worksheet or ibibigay sa kanilang worksheet is hindi siya house style. Ibig po sabihin, uh, mas madali para sa kanila na intindihin to. Mas ma... ma, ma, ma yung mga makikita po nilang figures is mas madali itong i-comprehend at gawin yung mga activities dahil malino po yung mga directions. Ano po? Okay, so what are the colors that we're going to use in printing the materials or the worksheet? 
Okay, so we have four colors, the cyan, the magenta, yellow, and black. Ito pong apat na kulay na to, ito lang po yung pwede natin gamitin para po mas malino na lumabas kapag po pinrim natin yung ating mga magnet. So yan po. The CYMK. Next po. The use of heading headlines tell stories plus. So yan po. They can summarize the main point of a piece of text and help learners understanding as they go on to read more information on a page. Limit the amount of work on one worksheet. Yung piece na sabi ko pa, ang ina pa na, pag po tayo gagawa ng worksheet, one activity at a time. Huwag po natin siyang uh, dagdagan. Kailangan po isa lang para po mas mag-focus yung bata dun sa kanyang sasagutan at sa kanyang gagawin. The learner should all be able to finish if it's too daunting. Then if the activity is too daunting, they will give up. Ayan po. Kapag nakita po nila na in one page, maliliit yung letters, yung kulay po hindi siya appealing. And at the same time po, yung mga activities ay ginawa mong apat, tatlo po kasi gusto mo makatipid ka ng papel. Hindi po natin natulungan yung bata. They find a hard time to be able to answer that activity. So might as well give up na po yung bata, hindi na po nila ito sasagawin. Baka nga po mamaya gaw, makita natin uh, makita natin itong blanco when we're going to check the, the worksheet or the activity. The learner should all be able to pay arat. Use a variety of tasks and begin with easier ones. As success motivates, make the task as enjoyable as possible. If we're going to create or we're going to design the worksheet, magsimula po, to, mo, po muna tayo dun sa mas madali. Ano po, ano ba po, uh, the first activity is all about the multiple choices. So, mas, mas malaki po kasi ang chances ng bata doon na, na makakuha sila ng tama. Ano po? And then the second one is word hand, pwede po yun. Ano? Sa, sa ESP po kasi ang ginagamit ko doon is hand of salita, the Tagalog version of the word hand. So, mas, mas madali po para sa bata. Next po. The quality of illustrations. Good clear line drawings are essentials. Photographs are useful, but what will they look like when photocopied? Pag po nireproduce natin yung ating worksheet, ano na pa kaya magiging itsura nito? Naka we need to consider that. Quality of reproduction. If your worksheet is good, but the reproduction is poor, then the final overall effect is poor. Definitely. Store the master copy in a plastic wallet in a safe place and use the original on it to make any future reproductions. In future use, itago po natin to if we need this, so we need to, to reproduce again. Napaka, napakahalaga po na ingatan natin to maintain the quality of our illustrations. <clears throat> Next. Okay, making content accessible, limiting the complexity. Using short sentences and simple words make text easier to understand. Yung mga words na mahirap intindihin, ano po, yung mga words na kailangan pa ng dictionary or Webster, i-limit po natin gamitin yun. Ano po, again, ang mga bata po ay self-learn ngayon. Nasa new normal po tayo, lagi po natin ito consider yun. May mga instances po na sila lang sa sarili nila ang mag magbabasa ng module at magsasagot po Limit the number of technical words and explain their meaning in simple language or provide a task which will do this. Let's help them to understand the module easily and perform the task in answering the words. Next. The next one is... Getting photos from Google needs proper citation. Naisip ko po kasi, I'm going to include this part kasi, for me, this is also important. It's not enough to create your, your worksheet. Hindi, hindi po doon natatapos ang ating obligation as a writer. No? So we need to, to understand the protocols in getting the photos from Google. And we need to, to, to use the proper citation. So we're going to use the Chicago Manual Citation. So, paano siya ginagawa? Okay, let us uh, discuss it now. Next po. Okay, include the uniform resource locator or the URL link 
below the picture. We're going to notice on the right side of my slide, ginamit ko dito yung picture na kinuha ko sa, sa, sa Google, sa internet. So, the color that we're going to use in printing the materials, the cyan, the yellow, the magenta, and then the black color. But if we're going to notice, hindi lang picture yung ginamit ko. Ano? Sa ilalim ng ating picture, nung kinuha ko siya, inalagay ko doon yung kanyang URL, kung saan ang galing na site yung ating picture. Mahalaga po yun. Ano? Ayan. So, kailangan nating ilagay yung ating pinagkuhanan para po hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema. Ano? Ayan. This is the first way. That's the second one. Next po. Ayan. Or maybe you can include the URL link in the direction. So, after you after you you understand the first uh, the first one yung yung pinakita ko una kanina ano ito po yung pangalawang paraan ano, how to use the citation properly example <clears throat> identify the name of this icon taken from this link ayan so isinama ko po siya sa direction and at the same time inilagay ko po kung saan saan ay ko kinuha yung picture na to that I include to the workshop of our learning. So, yan. Ito po yung dalawang paraan na kailangan gamitin in using the proper citation. Okay, next po. And then the third one, which is also the one of the important in, in using the, the proper citation, citations included in the references. Oh, mahala, napakahalaga po nito. Yan. So, after the, after the worksheet, Meron pong part doon na makikita natin yung references. Ayan. Dito na po makikita yung lahat ng site na pinagpahanan natin sa internet. Yung mga references, textbooks. Yan po natin makikita. Okay, next. <clears throat> okay, how reference should be written? Okay, this is the rule. Author, last name, first name, title of book, and then place of publication, and publisher, and then the last one is year. And this is the example, Einstein, Albert, the meaning of relativity, Princeton, Princeton University Press, 1920. Next book. Okay. Republic Act number 8293. 1998, Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. It is also known as the Copyright and Related Rights, Trademarks and Service Marks, Geographic Indications, Industrial Designs, Patents, Layout Designs, Topographies of integra Integrated Circuits, and Protection of Undisclosed Information. Ito po yung batas na kumaprotekta dun sa ating mga ginawang original. So, that's what you call copyright. No? So, Ayaw po natin ng sakit ng ulo. So, we need to be responsible to come up with a quality worksheet. Pero hindi po tayo magkakaroon ng problema kasi po sinunod po natin yung ating role. At alam po natin itong batas na po. Next po. <clears throat> Okay, so what is copyright? Ano? So let us tackle about this. Let us discuss about what is copyright all about. Okay, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the copyright is the legal right to be the only one to reproduce, publish, and sell a book, musical recording, or any artistic work. Kathang original. Pag-aari po yan ang gumawa. So siguro naman po, Kung sa atin din gagawin yun, may kumuha ng ginawa mo at inari ng kanya, magagalit din po tayo. So, to protect the, the right of the creator, dapat alam po natin kung paano igalang ang kanilang karapatan. At kung tayo po ay may gawa din, uh, dapat alam din po natin kung paano natin protectahan yung ginawa mo. Next. What to do when you need to use images in the worksheet? For example, hindi may iwasan, you're not, you're not good in digital uh, drawing. Hindi ka magaling. You know? May mga tao din po na na-encounter kami, nakilala ko na magaling yung kamay nila sa pag-drawing. Pero may mga tao din po na nakikita ko na magaling sila when it comes to digital drawing. 
na yun po yung uso ngayon. Ano? Yun naman po masamang humingi ng tulong. Pero po, kung, kung sila po yung may gawa nun, try po nila na protektahan yung kanilang ginawa. Ano po? So, ano ang gagawin natin? We're going to need the, the, the figures or the pictures in our worksheet. So, ito po, yung, ito po yung mga dapat nating tandaan. Next. <clears throat> Ayan. The best thing to do is use your own pictures or drawings. Kung marunong ka naman at kaya mo naman, why not, di ba? Be proud na kaya mong gumawa ng mga drawings or figures or uh, activities na may, uh, sarili mong gawa. At least yung... yung yung law about the copyright, hindi ka mamumblema kasi original yun sa yun. Next one. Find free to use online images. For example, on my case, I'm not good in, in, in drawings. Hindi po ako magaling mag-drawing. So, ang ginagawa ko po, humihingi po ako ng tulong sa kapwa ko writer na magaling mag-drawing or sa mga kalala kong layout artist. Humihingi po ako ng tulong sa kanila. Pero sinasama ko po yung name nila sa sa references or dun sa citations. Pero may mga site din po naman, lalo ngayon, the different agencies or the DepEd given us uh, permission to use different images in the different website. Hanap lang po tayo. Ano, marami po dyan. So, free clip art for features. Marami po sa sa internet na ganyan na pwede natin gamitin to our version. Say po yung gamitin. Huwag po tayo mag -alala. Next po. How can we use online images? Tandaan po natin, we're going to use, for example, a picture of a child. Hindi po tayo pwedeng gumamit ng live picture. Bawal na bawal po yun, especially kung wala naman permission ng owner. Nakakasuhan po tayo. Dun. We can use picture, online images. Pwede po tayo maghanap niyan sa internet. Yung mga, uh, yung mga, uh, yung mga drawing images po, pwede po yan. Madaling po siyang mahanap and at the same time, safe po siyang gamitin. But, depende po sa site na pagpukuha na natin. Ano po? Ngayon po, kung ang nakuha na natin is, meron po kasi yan yung, yung tinatawag nating non-profit. Mamaya po, I'm going to explain that sa mga choices. Pagka po, pindik natin yung, yung images, yung image. Uh, mas maganda pong gamitin yung, yung non-profit or hindi po... Uh, Tinatanong po kasi sa internet, pag po kinlik natin to kung saan po siya gagamitin. Ano po? So, may mga command po doon na dapat natin sumunod. Next po. Uh, for example, we're going to use or get the picture from the Google. So, click tools. Ayan. Pag, pag nahanap po natin yung image, click the tools. And click usage, right, usage rights. So, dalawa po yung lalabas doon. Ito po sinasabi ko. Pili po tayo doon. Uh, may magpapapa po doon, non-commercial reuse or label for reuse. So, pareho pong safe yan. Huwag po tayo mag-alala. Ano po? Hindi po tayo makakasa. Dahil po yung worksheet na ginagawa po natin or gagawin po natin ay hindi po natin pagkakakitaan dahil hindi naman po natin ito ibebenta. Ano po? Next po. Okay, check the URL. Ito po, mahalaga to. Secured site should start with HTTPS. Ito po yung mga safe site. Check the domain. .com for commercial sites. .edu for education sites. .gov government sites. And then .org non-profit organization. Ito lang po yung pwede natin gamitin na safe sites na pwede natin gamitin para sa ating uh, worksheet. Next. Check the author. Of course, get to know the author. Is he or she a reliable source of information? We're going to read an article about this author. Another article, nagawa din niya para po ma-check natin about their, their work. Napakahalaga po yung tinatawag natin the background check of the author para po mas maging reliable yung ating uh, worksheet na ginagawa at yung article na ating gagamit. Next. Check the timeliness. Okay. Is it updated? Okay, the maximum years, tatandaan po natin ito, is 5 years ba? 5 taon po dapat. Ano po? Para mas masabi natin, reliable yung article na kukuha na natin at gagamitin natin. 
Number six, check the differences used in the article. Do not trust opinion-based articles. When the article uh, composed of opinions of the author, uh, teka muna, uh, pag-isipan po natin mo, muna itong mabuti kasi po, uh, the article should be based on facts, not based on their opinion. Kapakahalaga po nito. Check the references. Saan ang galing ang kanilang mga pinagpuhanan nito? Anong mga site? Is the site is reliable? Is the author is also a reliable person? Napakahalaga po na ma-check din natin before we use this in our worksheet. Next. Do not trust the first article that you see. Ayan. When you see an article, ayan, huwag muna natin siyang basta-basta kuhanin at paniwalaan. Ano? Again, background check po ulit tayo. Verify the facts and the sources. Saan siya nanggaling? Sino ang sumulat? Ano yung mga previous na ginawa nitong author na ito? Anong mga article ito? At ilan taon siya na ginagamit hanggang sa ngayon ba yung article na sinulat nitong author? Tandaan po natin, five years po dapat no? para masabing reliable yung article na gawa ng isang author. Next po. Okay. Ito, napakahalaga nito. In creating our worksheet, don't forget to use our rubrics. Ano? Isa po sa mga paraan para mabigyan natin ng grade yung, yung, yung output ng bata. So, may mga activity tayo na pwedeng i-design na kailangan gamitan ng rubrics. At itong rubrics sa makakatulong para mas mabigyan natin ng maayos na grade yung bata when it comes to their output. Lahat tayo in different subjects, we have our own rubrics. Next. Okay. So, in our division, in Make a Wine, we come up in different, in standard format and based on our LRMBS format. So, for the Kinder, the font style is Alphabeto, the title is 22, the subtitle is 20, and the body is 18. In grade 1 to 3, the font style is Alphabeto, the title is 20, the subtitle is 18, and then the body is 16. In grade 4 to 6, the font style is also alphabeto. The title is 18, the subtitle is 16, and then the body is 14. While in junior high school, the font style is Bookman Old Style from grade 7 to 10. The title is 16, the subtitle is 14, and then the body is 12. While in senior high school, the font style is Bookman Old Style, same as in senior high school, junior high school. The title is 14, and then the body is 10. For going to notice, sa kinder to grade 3, malalaki yung kanilang uh, font size. It's because mga bata yun, ano, para mas, mas madali nilang maintindihan. And at the same time, mas madali nilang magawa yung direction na makikita nila dun sa, sa worksheet nila. While in, in junior high school, yeah. So, we use 14 dun sa body parts niya, while in, in senior high school, 10 lang. Bakit? Kasi po, yung senior high school, eh, they considered as college na po yun, di po ba? Grade 11 and those. So, they can manage reading the article or the letters in font 10. So, so kaya na din lang. Okay, next. Okay, don't forget. When you need to use images, remember not to violate the copyright. Ito po yung una nating tandaan. Hindi lang po basta nakagawa tayo ng worksheet. Dapat po alam natin yung 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 law about the copyright. Napakahalaga po na hindi natin to ma-violate. Next. Number one, use your own images, photos, or drawings. Ayan. Pwede po natin pong gamitin. Pag sarili natin, at least safe po tayo. Find free to use online images. Ayan, may mga free site po tayong pwedeng puntahin dyan na pwede natin gamitin. Ano? Na hinahayaan po tayo, binibigyan tayo ng terms. Cite the source of your online images. And if we're going to use the images in the Google again, uh, diniscuss ko na po kami na meron tayong dalawang paraan on how to give the proper citation. Okay, sa ilalim po ng picture, ilagay po natin yung website na pinagkuha na natin. Or the second one, Isama po natin yung website or yung link sa ating direction. Check out on Next one. Okay, remember. 
photos from image banks needs no citation. Ayan. Sa division po namin, hinahayaan po kaming bigyan ng pagkakataong gamitin yung mga photos or images na ginawa ng mga layout artists namin. So, meron po kami tinatawag na image banks. Ano? So, dito po, pray po namin siyang nagagamit. And I hope in your division may sarili din po kayong mga ginagawa na image banks. At sinishare po ito sa mga writers na gumagawa ng module or ng uh, worksheet. Deped materials including learning materials and curriculum guide do not need citation. Ayan. Yung mga ginagamit po natin references. Next po. Do not, oh, pakibalik po, eh, sorry. Do not take picture from books using your camera. Halimbawa po, kailangan nyo ng picture. Tapos po ang ginawa nyo, dahil po pwede naman kumuha ng mga images sa mga textbook na coming from them, and pinicturean nyo po yung picture dun sa textbook. Bawal, bawal po yun. Siyempre po, uh, pwede naman po siya. Kaya lang po, kapag po, uh, ang tinatawag po kasi dito is second hand lens na po siya. So, uh, dahil po ginamitan natin siya ng lens through our phone, uh, kailangan na po natin isight yung uh, kung saan po natin kinuha yung ating uh, image na gagamitin sa ating worksheet. Inuulit ko po, bawal pong picturean ang mga images na makikita natin sa textbook. Kahit po ito ay galing sa DepEd. Kasi po, second hand lens na po ang tawag. Next one is pictures can be modified. For example, nakakita ka po ng, ng images. May image ka pong gagamitin kami from a site na or from a Google. So, pwede mo po siyang gamitin kasi gusto mo siyang i-enhance as long as hindi na siya ma-recognize na original. Ayan. At gusto mo pong maging uh, pag-aari na siya. Pwede po yan as long as hindi na siya katulad na katulad ng original na pinagkopyahan or pinagkuhanan mo. Tinatawag po natin ito minsan na parang pattern mo po siya pero po you're going to enhance it para po mas magamit mo siya or magamit mo siya ng libre. Ano? Okay. Next po. Localize and contextualize in the Philippine setting. For example po, kailangan natin gumamit ng place. For example po, in Bulacan. Ayan. Isama na po natin dyan yung, yung mga sites sa Bulacan na pwede natin i-promote. For example, para Spain or sa, sa area ninyo na kailangan natin i-promote. Ayan. Isama na po natin as to support the localized and contextual, uh, contextualization. Napakahalago po nito. For example, we're going to use fruits. Ayan. Hindi na po kailangan ilagay yung apple tapos kasi po sa Pilipinas, uh, wala naman po tayo sariling, uh, I mean, hindi naman po localized yung apple. Ano? Pwede po natin gamitin din yung mangga, yung sandbari. And at the same time, napopromote pa po natin yung ating sariling fruits. Ayan. Yung ating sariling fruits. Maximum pages of works are 6 to 12. Ito pitatandaan natin. In creating the worksheet, ayan, it composed of 6 to 12 pages. Next po. Ayan. Uh, I include in my slides the references na ginamit ko to give proper citation to the owner of the images and then the article that I'm, use, that I'm using. Ayan. Sinama ko po siya. Next po. Okay. I would like to end my discussion for this morning by means of this quotation coming from Bernard Poole. In order to create an engaging learning experience, the role of instructor is optional, but the role of learners is essential. With that, thank you sa lahat po ng kasamahan ko dito at mga nakasubaybay. Maraming salamat po sa oras ng inyong pati. Mabuhay po tayong lahat and maging liftless pa rin po tayo. Salamat po and God bless each and every Yan, may may tanong po tayo dito. Ano po? Meron po bang required number of worksheets per lesson? For example, how many worksheets po dapat ang ilagay natin? Siguro po, uh, pag per lesson pang ginawa po kasi namin, uh, in one, base po kasi yun sa, sa milk na gagamitin natin. Kami po, kung sa isang week po, dahil po ESP yung hawak ko, for example, sa, sa part po po ito ah. Ang ginawa ko pong worksheet ay apat. 
So kung apat po yung worksheet ko, in, in, in a week po kasi gumagamit kami ng dalawang milk. So dalawang milk sa apat na worksheet. Siguro po ang, ang may sasagot ko dito is, Depende po sa inyo kay ilang oras po yung subject na ituturo niyo. Depende po kasi yun sa subject na tinuturo niyo. Thank you. Paano po yung online resources materials na pinos ng hindi ng ibang tao without citing the original creator? Pwede po kayong gamitin. Ay, hindi po. Kailangan po natin isite kung kangino po nang galing yung, yung article na to or yung worksheet na to. Kasi po mahalaga po yun. Copyright po yun. And we need to we need to respect that 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 law. what if yung mga illustrations lang po ang kinuha mo sa book na reference po do you still need to include all the authors writers of the books so worksheet ay opo kailangan po ano uh, nasa pag-uusap po kasi to kung, kung gusto po nila or ten, kailangan po kasi hingin po lagi natin ang permission nila para po hindi po hindi po tayo magkaroon ng problema mahalaga po na pag-usapan to to come up in a safe quality version. Inciting references alphabetically arranged po ba or as per appearance po sa worksheet? Ay, opo, mahalaga po yun. Ah. Thank you po for reminding me that alphabetically arranged po yun dapat. Dapat po bang hintayin ng module na ginagawa ng region bago gumawa ng worksheet? Based on what I heard, uh, alam ko po meron pong ginagawa ang, o may ibibigay ang, ang, ang central office. Ito po, uh, base lang po sa naintindihan ko, ha? may ibibigay daw po ang central office na module. Hintayin lang po natin kasi po, uh, ibawa ba naman po to sa, sa region, or rather sa region, and then division, and then for school. Pero po, yung iba po kasi ay gumagawa na rin ng module. Why not? Di po ba? Uh, at least meron po tayong option. Ano po, kung at the same time, pwede natin gamitin yung module na ginagawa natin and at the same time, pwede din po natin gamitin yung module na ibibigay sa atin. Marami po tayong resources. Mas maganda po yun. Salamat po. Okay lang po ba sa worksheet na back to back, sir? Uh, for me po, ah, uh, kung ang worksheet nyo po ay... Isa lang per page. Ang sabi ko po kang na isa lang per page. Mas okay po na gamitin din yung back para po mas makatipid tayo. Kaya lang po, depende po ito sa 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 sheet or typewriting na gagamitin natin. Meron po kasi mga typewriting na kapag pinrin po natin yung ating article or yung ating worksheet, bumabakat po. So napakahalaga po na i-consider natin yung, yung substance ng typewriting. Pero po mas okay po na back to back po siya. Aside from Google, meron po bang sites na endorsed or allowed by DepEd? If meron po, ano po yung mga sites na yun? Uh, pag po kasi nagkiklik ako sa Google, ang hinahanap po po lagi is free site for teachers. Meron po mga ganun. Aside from that, wala po ako may recommend na ibang mga site na pwede natin patuhanan. Aside po, aside po dun sa ibinigay sa akin ng mga site na pwede patuhanan na, na free na hindi na kailangan ng citation. Baka po meron kayong makita, so might as well, mas, mas okay po kung isi-share nyo po yan sa kanin para po mas marami pa rin po ang pagpahan. Salamat po. Meron po ba kayong channel or Facebook page in which may makita po kami mga sample na gawa nyo? Serve as our guide. Ay, sige po, I'm going to give my my FB page or yung FB ko po, pwede ko pong ibigay sa inyo para po makita nyo po yung mga, yung mga worksheet na ginagawa ko. Salamat. May isang format lang po ba na dapat sundin sa paggawa ng worksheet? Ang format po kasi is depende sa napagkasunduan ng LRMBS ni po in your division. So yung pinakita ko po sa inyo sample ay ito po yung napagkasunduan namin sa sa, sa division of Mekawayan. So nagkama po kami sa start na, na ito po yung susunin. Maga po kasi na yung format na gagawin natin is standard para po ito po yung makikita sa lahat ng worksheet na gagawin po natin. Thank you. Kung so, ipinadrawing mo po sa estudyante, may po ba na ilagay yung name na drawing Again po, tanongin nyo po estudyante kung okay lang. Mag-usap mag po kayong dalawa kasi po nasa inyong pag-uusap po. And again, yung owner po, yung creator ng image ay may karapatan 
para po makita yung kanyang pangalan or ma acknowledge po siya bilang owner ng kanyang uh, nilikha or ng kanyang dito. Okay lang po ba nagyan ng pages sa footnote yung worksheet parang baksa? Ay, opo! Merwin says, yes ma'am, dapat po may pages po. Para po yung bata may guide. Are we allowed to use pictures na kami mismo ang nag-take ng mga pictures or as our localized or textualized materials? Ayan. Uh, halimbawa po, uh, picture nung lugar. Ay, opo. Basta po kayo po, sarili nyo pong camera yung ginamit nyo. Ano? Wala pong problema doon. Kung tao naman po ang gagamitin natin, hindi po pwede. Again, hingi po tayo ng permission doon sa kukuhanan natin. Kung, kung lugar lang po yan at sa sariling camera natin yung gagamitin natin, you're allowed. Wala po tayo. What app can we use po kaya in making a worksheet that they can answer virtually? Thank you po. Shout out po ito si Terra Francisco Memorial National High School. I thank you po. Anong app? Hmm. Uh, I think as of now, wala po ako na-encounter or nakita pa na app na pwede tayo mag-consult about our worksheet. No? Ito po kasi ay parang personal talaga siyang ginagawa. Mahalaga po talaga na mag-collaborate tayo para po mas madali po yung ating, uh, mas mapadali po yung ating trabaho when it comes to making our worksheet. Thank you po. Paano po namin malalaman kung pre yung pictures na po namin or ano pong mga sites sa madalas magbigay na pre pictures. Okay. So may mga site po akong pinakita kanina. Ano po? Pwede po natin yung balikan doon sa slides na pinakita ko. Anyway, uh, alam po po yata ipopost po yata or i-upload po yata sa sa YouTube itong ating uh, webinar na po. Pwede niyo pong balikan, Ma'am Mary Joyce Boots. Thank you po. Bakit hindi pwede mag-take ng pictures sa books po? Kasi po, uh, second uh, second lens na po ang tawag doon. Ibig po sabihin, mula po sa original na, na libro, na picture na nandun sa libro, tapos pinicturean mo. So, second lens na po ang tawag doon. At hindi na po talaga siya po pwede. Nakalagay po ito doon sa, sa, sa rules na binanggit po tayo. No, no na po siya. Hindi na po talaga Since we really excited effort making our worksheets, putting substance on it, how can we assure that our students are the one answering, answering it? Or in the first place, they will do it on their own time. Ayan. Kaya nga po, di po ba ito? Ito yung sa mga, isa sa mga tanong ng, ng mga kapwa natin yung guro. Are we, make sure na, are we going to make sure na yung mga estudyante natin magsasagot ng, ng worksheet na gagawin natin? Simple lang po ang sagot dyan, ano? During the orientation, kasama po ang mga magulang na i-orient para po sa new normal. And yung honesty po kasi is napakahalaga na isama natin sa orientation. It's up to them kung tutulungan nila yung mga bata or hayaan nila yung mga bata na magsagot ng, ng, ng worksheet na ibibigay natin sa kanila. So mahalaga po na include natin sa orientation yung mga magulang or yung family members na pwede makasama ng bata habang siya ay Again, honesty po, napakahalaga po na maintindihan mo. Pwede po bang gamitin ang mga picture ng mga bayani na nasa Google? Again, yung pag po ang picture ay nasa Google, may website po na pinanggalingan yan, proper citation po ang gamitin natin. Pwede naman po, ilagay lang po natin yung site or link kung saan natin siya pinuha. Is there a need po? Is there a need po ba to translate from English to Filipino ang content ng worksheet sa science to adjust to some students? Nahirap o maintain din ng English, ah? So, from from English to science. Ay, yan po is nasa pag-uusap ng, ng division mo. Kung anong grade level po ba yan? Lahat po ba ng, ng grade level ay pare-paraho ng gagawin? Kasi po, baka po mamaya yung gagawin yung worksheet ay ikaw lang po ang gagamit ng in Filipino eh science po yung yung isusulat nyo di po ba ang medyo pa instruction in science is English so mag-usap po muna kayo baka po magkaroon problem okay salamat po sa mga nagpo-post ng questions are we going to continue pa ba okay 
Okay lang po ba kung may given na worksheet din, enhance mo lang to, to align with the lessons as well as with the cap capability ability of your learners. Ay, pwede po. Basta po kung sino po ang gumawa ng original worksheet, ask the permission first para po hindi kayo magkaroon ng problem. Copyright po kasi yan. Can you share the sample of worksheet you made? Okay, so yung po kasing ginagawa kong worksheet or gina, uh, pinatapos kong worksheet is uh, for validation pa po. Pwede ko naman po siyang i-share or ipakita sa aking uh, Facebook. Mamaya po, yung mga interesado po, I'm going to give you my, my, my Facebook. What if nakalimutan na makuha ang reference din ginamit ba siya po if it, it is allowed? Hindi po. Bawal po yun. Kailangan po talagang ilagay kung sa ang site kinuha yung image from the Google. Napakahalaga po na again, copyright po. Mag-iingat po tayo. Okay, salamat po sa mga nag-post ng mga katanungan. Uh, natutuwa po ako at alam ko pong uh, nakatulong ako kahit paano by means of during this webinar. Thank you po and God bless to each and everyone. A COVID free morning again to each and everyone of us. Maliga, uh, maliga, uh, magandang araw po sa lahat. Yes. Hey, Sir Jet. Hi, I'm here. Uh, thank you very much for the wonderful presentation at marami ako natutunang talaga mula sa iyo. Maraming thank you, salamat. Sir. Oh, ang dami ko ang tinake na notes eh. So maraming nice, salamat sir. Muli, sir Edward sa iyong pagbabahagi ng iyong kaalaman at mga tips, wonderful tips kung paano maging intellectually honest. Oh, yan ang dapat nating gawing mga teacher. Yes. So ang ating ikalawang presentasyon ay tungkol sa cyber safety and etiquette. So this one is going to be a very interesting topic. Gaya ng una, oh, lahat ay very interesting talaga. At babasahin natin, sino nga ba siya? Siya ay isang tita, Valenzuela National, at alumnus siya ng De La Salle University, Araneta. Oh, ka, ka ano ko to? Kabatch at saka English major ito. And she is a member of the technical working group sa kanilang paaralan. Uh, pagdating sa pagpipresent ay local and international. At siya ang advisor ng pen and paper club ng English department ng paaralan, yung kanilang school school newspaper. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us please all welcome Miss Rachel Aricheta. Good morning, Miss Rachel. Are you there? I would love to see. Yes, Paul. Good morning. Hello, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel. Good morning. Are you still there? Yes, Paul. Wipe you show up. Oh, you're so pretty. It's a good thing you showed up. Yeah, you look so lovely. I love your outfit. And you look so very happy. Good morning po sa inyo. Kumusta ka na? Mabuti naman po. Kumusta po ka lahat? Oh, we're good. Are you ready for today? Yes, ready, ready na. Medyo kinakabahan. Pero para sa bata, para po sa inyo, nagkita ako. No, we're all here for you. You don't need to feel anxious. Magna notes coming lahat, di ba? Di ba, folks? Okay. So the floor is yours, Miss Rachel, at mapagtatagumpayan yun ito. Aja. So good morning, everyone. I hope you will be participative in my topic: cyber safety and etiquette. Pero bago ko to simulan, ano ang ulam yung ayon nanda? Baka yung mga tumitilaok na manok, eh naririnig natin mamaya wala na sila, nakatay na. <laughs> so, ang una ko pong topic ay prevention is better than cure in the world of cyberspace. So, as the quote says, prevention 
Ah, uh, yes, Anna. Wait lang. As the quote goes, prevention is better than cure. So we will as well make an attempt to go cyber safe so that we don't end up opening the Pandora's box of the digital world. So yung Pandora's box in the mythology means to do or start something that will cause many unforeseen problems. So bilang guro na magtatrabaho in the world of cyberspace, we need to be educated and to limit ourselves in facilitating online communication. Ang pinakamahalagang pag-aari natin sa cyberspace ay ang password. So yung password, uh, inihan tulad ko siya sa toothbrush. Okay. Treat your password like toothbrush. Don't let anybody else use it and get a new one every six months. Ayun po. Ayun po ah. So what is etiquette and why is it important? Etiquette simply means how to behave in various situations. Ayan. Relates to a code of behavior among people within an organization group or society. So given in this pandemic situation, lagi tayo nasa online meeting. So how are we going to show our etiquette in today's seminar? Especially yung gumagamit ng Google Meet, Zoom, at FB Live. Sige, magtatanong po tayo ngayon. Magbigay po kayo ng mga tatlo na gagawin nating etiquette, netiquette. Pag sumasama po tayo sa online meeting. Meron po ba? Sasagot? Hindi lang po ah. Tingnan natin. Hmm. Mute. Very good. Jennifer Garcia. Well, you don't need to speak. What else? Okay, mute your microphone. Yan, mamaya. Mamaya, meron kang premyo. Be responsible in citing sources. Be punctual. Avoid unnecessary noise. Do not turn off the camera. Ayan, pag... Wear decent attire. Ayan, tama po. Okay po, salamat po sa mga sagot. Next slide. Family etiquette. The place to start with etiquette is at home with the family. Children who are taught good manners and to respect their parents take their lessons out into the world. Katulad ng sinabi ni Sir Ochin kahapon na ang pamilya ang unang magtuturo ng kabutihan asal sa mga anak, na-experience ko kapag hindi nag-oopo ang sudyante, sasabihin ko, Ayan na po ba ang sagot mo? Tama po ba? Emphasize ko yung word na po at opo. At alam ko nagawa po natin yan sa ating mga sudyante. Tama po ba ako? Okay po. Yes, lahat tayo asasang ayon dyan. Buti na lang may GMRC na ngayon. So children don't need to take classes on etiquette. They need discipline to practice manners and reminders from their parents. Bilang magulang or nakakatanda, we should be extra respectful to others while our children or kahit yung mga pamangkin natin o kahit sino mga batang nasa paligid natin are, who are with us so they can see and learn what we are doing.
Okay, next slide po. Social etiquette. Social etiquette involves how you behave out in the public with friends and strangers. If you treat your friends and neighbors with respect, you are more likely to remain on their list of people they trust, care about, and invite to parties. It also prevents you from being embarrassed later by behavior that was unbecoming or offensive. Sabi nga, gumawa ka ng mabuti sa kapwa. Para kapag nangangailangan ka, di ka man magsabi, mararamdaman nila na may pangangailangan ka. Sa pa, kapag sa isang lamay o libing, kapag marami nakiramay, isipin natin na ang buti naman ng taong ito, marami siguro natulungan ito. Tama po ba? Yan. Kaya gumawa po tayo ng mabuti para maraming tumulong sa atin. O hindi man ma-recognize ng iba ang kabutihan natin. May Diyos na nakakaalam ng ginagawa natin. Okay, amen po. So next slide. Social etiquette. Professional etiquette pala. Okay. So following professional etiquette allows others to see that you are a polite, civilized co-worker who knows how to be nice and can represent the company in a positive way. If you don't show good mothers, you run the risk of ruining your reputation. Tanong, ano pong gagawin ninyo kapag isang co-worker laging negatibo sa buhay? Share nyo naman po. Okay po. Okay, ako na lang. Huwag po natin sayangin ang oras natin sa kanila. Kasi kapag nag-focus tayo sa mga negatibong tao, magiging negative tayo sa buhay at walang magyayari sa buhay natin. Dapat lagi tayong sumama sa mga positibong tao. Masayahin at higit sa lahat may takot sa Diyos. Masaya po yun. Tsaka lagi po tayong hanapin natin ang kabutihan sa ating paligid. Okay po? Ito na. Internet etiquette. Internet etiquette, also known as net ticket, is essential in a civilized work environment or personal relationship. Even though you aren't with others in person, you should remember that they are still there on the other end of your communication. Yan. Ayan po. Dapat alam natin kung ano ang do's and don'ts pag nasa internet world na tayo, pag nasa cyberspace. Okay. Basic social media etiquette rules. Be nice. The first rule of internet etiquette is to be kind and courteous. Remember that whatever you send from your keyboard or your phone is still an extension of you. Even though you're not with others in person, it's just as important to show good manners online as it always has been. 
po. Lagi tayong maging mabait. Kahit minsan naiinis sa tayo, basta maging mabait tayo. Never flame or rant in public forum. Show respect for the opinions of others. Even you even if you don't agree and refrain from name calling. Avoid gossiping or saying anything negative about others. Being nice includes avoid cyber bullying. Ayan. Pag mainit ang ulo nyo, check nyo. Check nyo yung pinapost nyo. Keep messages and posts brief. Most people use the internet to save time, so honor that and keep all messages as brief as possible. If you have more to say, try breaking it up into smaller topics. This will force you to be more organized and enable the reader to digest the information in a more orderly manner. Actually, lahat po nitong sinasabi ko ay... Well, explain the man po. Salamat po, Cherry Agno, sa message. Nakaka-uplift naman po ang topic natin ngayon. Thank you for this. Opo. Kaya dapat lahat tayo maging positive every day. Next po. Don't shout. Avoid using all caps in any email or post. Kasi parang galit, di ba? Some people think that keeping the caps lock button on for the entire message will make it easier to read. While it actually does the opposite. It is not only difficult to read, it comes across as shouting, which is rude. Pwede caps lock yung FYI. <laughs> Pero yung message mo, small small letters lang. Para akala nila mainit ang ulo mo or nagagalit ka. Okay. Next slide. Use description. Whether you are sending email, instant messaging, commenting on Facebook, adding images to snapshot, or posting a message to your blog, you need to remember that anything, anything you put on the internet can be there forever. Even if you remove the material, someone may have made a screenshot, copied or saved it, lalo na yung mga kagalit mo. Yung gusto kang i-down, isa-save nila kagad yan. Yung may mga inggit sa'yo. One rule of thumb many people use is to never post anything you wouldn't want your parents or boss to see. Okay. Next slide. Protect personal information. Yan. Since anything you post on the internet is out there for all to see, avoid adding anything personal. This includes your address, phone number, social security number, and driver's license information. You don't want to make things easy for identity thieves, burglars, and predators. Later po, meron ako mga sample niyan. Next po. Before you click send, it is always a good idea to reread anything you type before clicking the send button. If you have time, step away for a few minutes and come back to it when fresh eyes. For those times when you need to post quickly, at least check your spelling, grammar, and tone of the message. If it is late, 
at night and you are extremely tired, it's probably best to wait until the next morning. You can save most messages and posts in draft mode. Okay, tama po yan, Sir Merwin. I always say to my students, so wag mag-post ng locations nila kasi baka manakawan ang bahay nila. Si Ms. Russell, di masyado mabasa ang words po. Ah, okay. Put your account on private. Think before you click. Pause before post. Ay, sorry, girl po. Hmm. Okay. Next. Internet trolls. Keep in mind that there are internet trolls out there looking for the next victim. Ayan. If you become the subject of their bad behavior, don't respond. Most of the time, these people like to stir things up while hiding behind their keyboards. When they don't get a reaction, they move on to someone else. Sila yung mga nang iinis. Kaya ang ganti natin dyan ay deadma, deadmatology. Yan. Yun, mas lalo silang may ines kapag dinedma sila. Mas lalo sila magpo-post ng marami against you. Okay po. Next. Obey copyright laws. If you want to quote someone, keep the quote so short. Cite the source and put a link to the complete written work. Ayan. Para alam natin kung sino yung nakuha na natin nun. Next po. Okay. Cyberbullying. Okay, wait lang po. Cyberbullying via social media seen as crime. Ito po ay uh, The Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012. Officially recorded as Republic Act 10-175 is a law in the Philippines that was approved on September 12, 2012. Mamaya po, i-discuss ko kung ano cybercrime. Ayan. Okay. Cyberbullying. Sending me in messages of threats to a person, email, account, or cell phone. Mamaya po magbibigay ako ng mga examples at sino yung mga taong naging biktima ng mga ito at ayun yung mga pwede ikaso. Spreading rumors online and through text. Ayan, sasabihin, buntis ka, hindi naman pala. Sabihin nila, nagnakaw ka. Posting hurtful or threatening messages on social networking sites or web pages. Basta kung ano-anong negatibo, masama po talaga yon. Stealing a person's account information to break into their account and send damaging messages. Kaya wag po talaga natin ibibigay ang ating mga IDs. Kasi yung mga ID natin, number, doon makikita. May sample po ka mamaya. Pretending to be someone else online to hurt other person. Ito, nangyari sa akin to, yung mga sudyante ko. Gumagawa sila ng, ng ibang FB account. Pretending na yun ang classmate nila. Pero sa totoo lang, hindi po sila yun. Para lang po ma-hurt ng classmate nila. Okay. Taking unflattering pictures or a person of a person, spreading them through cell phones or the internet. Yan. 
Wait lang po ah. Charge lang po. Okay. Sorry, live. Lobat na po ako eh. <laughs> Okay, next, sharing the victim's personal information. Back po. Or any embarrassing information or tricking the victim into revealing personal or embarrassing information and sharing it to others. Mamaya po, mayroon ako yung sample. Mas maganda kasi yun kapag may nakikita kayong picture. Repeatedly sending messages that includes threats or harm or engaging in online activities that cause fear on victim safety. Ito po ngayon yung katulad kay Tita Shawi na threatening about her Frankie. Kaya masyado po ngayong mainit ang Asia nila. Okay po, next. Next slide. Okay, nasabi ko na po ito kanina. Under House Bill 578. 1.8 or the proposed anti-cyberbullying act of 2015, cyberbullies shall face a penalty of fines ranging from 50,000 to 100,000 or imprisonment between six months and six years or both at the discretion of court. Sa totoo lang, pag nakulong tayo, no? Madami nating na-sign na opportunity. Or yung pera na yan, pwede pa natin gamitin pang kabuhayan. Kaya huwag tayo pong mag-cyberbullying. Sayang. Next po. Ayan. According to PNP, Philippine National Police, uh, ito yung top 5 cybercrime dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, una, ito personal experience ko po sa BDO. So, meron akong BDO account. Ang gusto nila parang palitan ko daw yung mga information. So, ilang beses na sila nag, nag send sa akin. Sabi ko parang kakaiba to. So, nagtanong nga ako mismo sa BDO teller. Ito ay sample ng phishing. So kapag po may mga sinan sa inyo through bank na ganito, huwag niyo pong entertain. Punta po kayo mismo sa banko. O. Tapos, karamihan po sa mga teachers ngayon, eh, nagsa-sideline as online sellers. Ako rin po ay online seller matagal na 2012, pero... Pasulpot-sulpot lang ako. So, mas convenient po ngayong pandemic ay yung mga GCash, PayMaya, para hindi na tayo pupunta ng banko. Ngayon po, sabi po ng PNP, mas maraming na online scam during the time of pandemic since March. So, itong si GCash, pag nagkaroon ka ng problema, Ang gagawin ay pupunta ka sa customer service pero may ibang magsasend sa iyo ng information. Check ko po yan ha. Yes, true. Hanggang sa tanungin sa iyo kung ano yung PIN code mo, ano yung name mo, hanggang sa naubos ang naubos po. Hanggang sa naubos po yung inyong pera sa Paymaya or sa Gcash. Okay? Yes. Sayang po yung hard-earned money natin. 
Tama po yan, Mr. Christian Flores. Ingat-ingat po sa pag-comment. Mahal po ang piyansa. Hustle pag nadebitan. Uh, another po, kapag po meron tayong account sa BDO, kailangan yung mga, main, alam natin yung maintaining balance natin. Kasi kapag yung maintaining balance natin, hindi natin na-achieve bawas sila ng bawas ng 300 na kasi ay wala ka ng pera. Yun po yung lagi ko nababasa sa Facebook. Okay. Meron po ba rito naka-experience ng online scam? O kaya meron din pala yung mga online sellers na nagbayad ka na? Nagbayad ka na tapos hindi naman pinadala sa iyo. Tapos, ang nakakasakit pa ng loob, yung ginamit nilang FB account, hindi pala sa kanila. Yan, mga online scamming po yan. Next slide po. Online libels. Ayan po. Example po niyan, si Reza. Alam naman po natin na meron silang isinulat tungkol sa isang negosyante na matagal ng panahon, kaya lang na-reprint, tapos, ayan, na na found guilty siya of violating cyber libel. Ayan. Tapos po yung isa, si Bicoy. Si Bicoy, siya po yung sa video na naninira about sa anak ni Duterte. Anak. Oh. Yan po, kaya po talaga ingat-ingat po talo, tayo ngayon, lalo na madali nang isave ang mga ebidensya. Lalo na kung may... Lalo po kung mayroon tayong mga kagalit na patago pala. Diba? Next po. Online threats. Siguro po kilala niyo po si teacher. Si teacher po ay Siya po yung nag-post about 50 million. Uh, nag-post siya sa Twitter that he will give a 50 million reward to anyone who would kill President Rodrigo Duterte. Kaya po, ingat-ingat lang po talaga tayo kasi maraming mata ang nagmamasid sa atin. Yes po, taga Olongga po. Ayan po. On, tsaka yung online investment scam, tama po yan, Miss Russell. Outstanding, oh talaga, Mary Lucin, outstanding teacher siya. Okay. Okay, Ma'am Delia, sa awa ng Diyos, po wala pa naman, Ma'am, nag-order po ako ng kortina, nagpadala mi sa chika. Sabi po niya, shipping na raw. Inihingi po namin, resibo, eh wala. Mabuti na lang po, Ma'am, ibinalik sa akin, natakot yata. Very good. Ayan po, kaya huwag tayo, wala naman po tayong 50 million para patayin si President, di ba? Isip-isip po na wala tayong pera. <laughs> okay, kaya po yung online threats, marami po ngayon yan, galit sa gobyerno, huwag na po tayong makisawsaw. Dahil baka at the end ipatawag pa tayo. Iiyak lang tayo. Kaya po dapat maging nice. Ayan. Be vigilant po. Okay, next. Okay.
Okay. Identity theft. Ayan, yung mga pong mga mahilig mag-post sa mga IDs natin sa Facebook. Noong Feb 26, 2016, si Mark Joseph Lonto, nagkaroon siya ng utang sa tatlong banko. 800,000. Teacher po siya. Tapos nagulat na lang po siya, nadedadak po yung sahod niya ng 9,000. Ayan po, paano po nakuha? Ayan po yung ID niya. Ayan po yung ID niya. Okay, doon tayo sa next slide. Andiyan yung paano nakuha. So, yung, yung time na nakapasa daw siya sa let, nagpost agad siya. Tsaka pagpasok ko po sa public school, pagbigay ng papel ko, pinost din po sa FB na sobrang tuwa niya. Ayan. Kaya po yan, iwasan po natin ang mag-post ng mga personal IDs, pati po yung mga ATM account. Meron po akong naalala sa isang restaurant, nagkikwento siya, kapag po ang binayad ay credit card or debit card, yung sa likod niya merong nakalagay yung 4-digit o 3-digit, Tapos, kailangan daw po takpan natin yun. Kasi minsan pinipicture ng mga waiter at yun ang ginagamit nila para uh, gamitin yung, yung CC, yung credit card. Ayan, tama po. Yung mga certificates din. Kaya rin po yung mga bata natin, sabihin natin iwasan rin po yung mga certificates nila, Form 137 and 138. Mahirap po talaga. Kaya po lahat ng personal info dapat safe. Toothbrush po natin yan. Huwag ipahiram sa iba, huwag isend sa iba. Pati po yung password natin, dapat tayo lang nakakaalam. O isa natin sa mga sa buhay kasi malay mo, may mangyari masama sa atin, hindi niya alam. Patulad na nangyari doon sa kaibigan namin na hindi niya naibigay yung mga password. Yung pera niya, parang hindi niya rin yata na yung ibang gift certificates din. Okay, iwasan din po natin manira sa kapwa online. Iwasan ang mga away at dulo. Malay mo yung online seller eh, nagbigay ng peking ID pala. Kaya po huwag pala natin, huwag na talaga natin ipamamigay yung mga ID natin. O kaya kung manghihingi ng ID, takpan yung mga uh, mahalagang information. Kaya po ganun. Tapos, Maging aware po tayo kung ano nangyayari. Any advice where is the best place to put our password so we cannot forget? Any advice where is the best place to put our password so we cannot forget? Mm, sa palagay niyo po, Sino po pwede mag-share kung saan nyo po nilalagay yung password nyo? Miss, ako po kasi personally, isa lang yung password ko. Tapos pinapalitan ko lang siya every six months. Iisa. Tapos wag po nating wag po nating ilagay yung birth date. O sabi ni Ma'am Sarah, i-type mo Ma'am sa word or notes. Tapaysa, dapat ding magbasa ng reviews pag bibili online, tama? At huwag sisiraan seller. Kausapin ng maayos at pribado.
Tapos may pero pa ako na basa tungkol sa Shopee at Lazada na minsan yung mga reviews nila parang yung seller din daw po ang bumibili ng iba't ibang SIM para sabihin maganda po yung item. Para pagdating pag in-order mo maganda kasi maraming reviews. Kaya misa, tinanggal ko na po yung aking Shopee tsaka Lazada kasi parang na online scam pala ako. <laughs> kasi yung gaganda ng reviews eh. Tapos ang mura. Kaya po, tanggal na sila. Sa panahon ngayon, tipid-tipid po. Yan po. Next po. Ayan, ito yung isa pa sa mga cybercrime ng nakalisa sa PNP. Medyo maliit pa lang tinikay ko. Any person who possesses a nude photo or video of another person without his or her consent. Kaya po, kahit gaano ninyo kamahal ang isang tao, huwag kayo magbibideo. ba diba? Bigyan nyo po ng pahalaga ang ating katawan, ang ating profesyon. The person threatens to post the photos or videos in social media accounts or porn sites. Ayan po, di ba? Naririnig natin na kapag hiniwala yan siya, ipopost natin or ipopost sa mga uh, porn videos or for, porn sites pala. Kaya be careful talaga. He or she blackmails the victim asking favor or consideration in exchange of not posting the photos or videos. Parang may napanood ako nito na yung teacher ay ipapasa yung sudyante, tapos magkakaroon sila ng uh, video. Kaya po mahalin po natin yung profession natin. Ang hirap pong mag-exam, kumuha ng license para lang sa ganito. Sa panahon din ngayon, ang hirap din po kumita ng pera. Kaya pasalamat po tayo at tayo nasa, nasa gobyerno tayo. The suspect and the victims may had a previous relationship. Ayan. Yung mga student-teacher or teacher-student relationship. Kapag po gusto-gusto nyo yung bata, hintayin nyo po siyang nasa legal age. Para po legal ang lahat. O kaya may mga kapwa tayo, teacher na naninira ng kapwa, ng teacher, kapwa teacher. So, siguro wag natin sayangin ang ating lesensya sa kanila. Kung meron pong negatibo or nararamdaman natin na itong taong to ay negatibo sa ating buhay, tanggalin na natin. Umpisaan natin sa Facebook. Yung mga negative people, eh, unfriend yun na, unfollow. Huwag din sisira ng mga katrabaho at kumpanya sa online upang walang masaktan. Kung private matter, dapat private lamang. Isa pa po. Halimbawa yung mga nauusong mga app, yung Facebook. Kapag po may ganon, huwag na po tayo makiuso kasi usually, yun po yung mga malware, mga virus na sisira ng laptop natin. At mahirap na pong hanapin yung ibang mga files natin kung ganon.
Next slide po. Ayan. Learn Internet Acronyms. Ito, nadala ko ng mga sudyante ko. Ano yung BW, BTW, PTYL? Dapat din talaga maging marunong din tayo sa mga bagong uso ng mga kabataan ngayon. So, BTW, by the way, talk to you later. TTYL, take your time. TYT, low, laughing out loud, rolling on the floor, laughing. Okay, next. Next slide. Next slide. Ayan, before you post sa mga internet sites, think, is it true? Baka post tayo ng, send tayo ng send. Hindi naman pala totoo. Is it helpful? Maganda po i-post natin yung mga happy at tulad ng mga good deeds ng mga tao. Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Ayan po. Click before you... I think before you click. Ayan po. Next. Ayan po yung mga references. May tanong po ba? Ano man ang sitwasyon natin ngayon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Salamat po sa mga nakinig. Sige po, mamimigay po kami ng load or yung mga may cash. Kasi sino man po makaka-answer ng question na to? 100 pambili ng ulam ngayon dahil tayo lahat ay nagugutom na. Okay po. Um, magbigay po ng dalawang acronyms. Tagal. <laughs> Meron na po ba sumagot? Hindi ko makita. Wait lang po ah. TYT. Ayan, saan na ba yan? Noon na. Ay, ko siya makita. Ay, ang dami na kagad. Interest. Salamat po, interested. Ah, sige mo. Siguro po maghahanap na kami ng mga pangalan mamaya. Tapos ipopost natin. Hmm. Hi. Ayun. So, Miss Rachel, napaka... Informative po ng SGS. Sus, galing sobra. O ngayon ko lang naisip yun. O diba? SGS. Sus, galing sobra. At saka NAN. NAN. Natuto ako ngayon. Salamat sa mga NAN. Masaya ang lahat. So... Tayo'y magre-resume ng 2 uh, p.m. Ngunit mayroon akong mga ilang paalala. Okay. So, una sa lahat, uh, dispensa po kung hindi man na, at hindi namin nasasagot ang lahat ng email ninyo, mga comment, mga message, sapagat maraming ginagawa kaming mga staff. At two weeks po sana ang inyong ibigay sa amin upang i-validate ang lahat. At saka, huwag po kalilimutan na sundan ng mechanics para makakuha ng 
certificate. And um, and gusto kong magpasalamat on behalf of JFE and JFER and Valenzuela National High School sa lahat ng mga nanood, sa lahat ng mga organizer, sa staff, syempre, TSAI. TSAI, Chai. The staff are important. Yes, yeah, so dapat natin pasalamatan sila. Please don't forget the 2 p.m. And don't forget to screenshot yung mga... Ano, screenshot yung mga... Yung mismong ano, webinar. Huwag naman yung screenshot tapos yung pala may lalabas na Lazada o Shopee na mili ka ng magic pot, magic cream, o di kaya yung mga galon-galon na mga liquid soap o alcohol. So... Um, Marami tayong natutunan ngayong umaga at sana ay huwag kayong maghinawa na mag sa aming mga webinar. At mamayang alas dos, tayo magbabalik. And thank you very much for coming, all of you, and we really appreciate it. Sige, tayo may dalawa pang resource speaker at huwag tayong maglubay, huwag tayong manghinawa sa pagsuporta sa kanila. Thank you and have a happy lunch.